Uh, we are focused on Shohei Otani on this Friday as we have all offseason, really. That's not the new J.P. Morosi. Uh, let's get to work because the last time we spoke, this is what you tweeted out. Shohei Otani's decision is imminent, possibly as early as today. Good morning to you. Has anything changed? Any updates to that? Lauren, good morning. Uh, we are on alert. Okay. We are ready because today very much could be the day for Shohei Otani to decide. There's been no material change in my information since I issued that report. I still do believe that we could get word today on where Shohei Otani is going. As I mentioned earlier, the Blue Jays have built some momentum in recent days, and, and there are plenty of reasons to believe that they have an excellent chance at this hour. Uh, there is, among other things, a, a close relationship between Shohei Otani and Yusei Kikuchi, according to reports, uh, that they actually have known each other since uh, since they were very young. So there are some potential lines there that could suggest there's, there's a comfort level. But uh, I want to be careful here, Lauren, just because I think it's important to wait until we have something official. I, I do know, again, that the Jays are among the finalists. They've got a very good chance here, uh, and, and we must wait. I, I will point out that none of the teams that are in this have said to me that they have been ruled out. Okay. So that, so, so for that reason, I think it's important that we remain cautious here, even as there does appear, as I reported earlier, to be some momentum on the Blue Jays' side. Okay. We're so consumed with Shohei. There is an incredible amount of talent unaccounted for. I would imagine Cody Bellinger in terms of bats at the top of that list. Once Juan Soto went to the Bronx, we thought, what now? What's your answer to that? Well, Lauren, what now could be Bellinger getting linked even more so with the West Coast and specifically the San Francisco Giants? If, and I stress if, Otani goes to the Blue Jays, then the Giants will, again, as they were uh, with Aaron Judge a year ago to the week, uh, falling perhaps short on, on Otani, they could very easily pivot and turn to Cody Bellinger. They need some offense. They need some star power. And, and you see your screen right now. If they can't get the guy on the far right of your screen, there is Shohei Otani. Perhaps the man just next to him in Cody Ballinger becomes a bit more realistic. It does appear to me that the Giants, Lauren, have a little more spending power than the Seattle Mariners do. And so uh, we would be watching very carefully the possibility of Bellinger to the San Francisco Giants. You know, I'm listening to you, JP, and I was asking you about Cody and thinking to myself, free agent bats aren't a plenty, right? I, I, we kind of go Cody and then Matt Chapman, and then, but there's plenty more. Who's top of mind for you? Who are you focused on? A couple, Lauren, that I think have been overlooked a little. Uh, Mitch Garver and Adam Duvall. Let's begin with Mitch Garver, someone who played very well for the Texas Rangers. I was told in the last 24 hours there is some interest in him by the Seattle Mariners. And the Mariners have had, to date, a rather underwhelming offseason from a standpoint of spending. They've seen Tasker Hernandez become a free agent. They've traded Eugenio Suarez and Jared Kelnick. Perhaps adding Garver would be a good fit. And here is... Adam Duvall, who has shown that he can play center field. I, I really like what he brings. If you look at his last couple years, and again, he's had injuries at different times in the last couple years, he has totaled about 30, 30 plus home runs over the last two years in about 180 games played. So on a per year basis, for someone who can play center field, that's a very valuable player. A lot of names on, uh, on your screen right now uh, who are still out there. Kevin Kiermeyer, by the way, one of the more elite defenders that we have seen in recent years in the outfield. Lourdes Gurriel Jr., front and center on your screen right now, helped the Diamondbacks make the World Series. Uh, I've mentioned earlier this week, I really like the fit of Lourdes Gurriel Jr. and the Boston Red Sox, who, of course, had... Adam Duvall as well. They have now traded Alex Verdugo. The Boston Red Sox, I believe, Lauren, are going to get one of the names that you saw on your screen a moment ago. And I think Lourdes Gurriel Jr. fits them as well as anybody else. Mm, he would fit a lot of teams. That is for certain. Cardinals have been busy, JP, this offseason on the mound. That is for darn sure. I remember maybe a couple years ago, John Mozeliak saying, as currently constructed, I feel like we are good enough. In terms of position players, does he feel that way now? And, and in terms of the plethora of outfielders, could we see them move? We could see them move, Lorna. And where I think it gets very interesting is they still have this depth of outfielders, even though they have begun to fill out their rotation. Uh, you look at their outfield, Tyler O'Neill. 
Dylan Carlson. Uh, if you stretch it out further, they've got someone who's a very versatile defender in Brendan Donovan. I think Donovan will stay put. I think Nolan Gorman will stay put. But it would not surprise me at all if Carlson or O'Neill are moved to bring in one more starting pitcher or at least one more pitcher who could be part of their rotation mix. And we talk about the veterans they brought in, Gibson, Lynn, Gray, there are the numbers. And O'Neill, it, it did seem like there was maybe some times uh, during the course of the, of the last season where perhaps O'Neill and management weren't exactly aligned about his role, injuries he was battling through. I look at O'Neill as being a good candidate for a fresh start. And there are still a lot of teams that could look at his power profile and see him fit exceptionally well. Again, Padres, perhaps back to the Seattle Mariners, uh, where he actually began his pro career. I do think there's a, a fairly strong chance, probably better than 50-50, that Tyler O'Neill has a different uniform by opening day 2024. It's going to fit snug. That's what, we, that's what we know. He's always lifting us to darn sure. Hey, quickly, I feel like I have a million questions, and I'm getting all this time with you, and I love it. Elo Jimenez, on the move, yes or no? I do believe the White Sox, as we've talked about Dylan Cease and the possibility of the White Sox moving a pitcher, if they move a bat, Aloy Jimenez, I believe, is their next best option. And there are a number of teams out there looking to upgrade their offense without necessarily spending a ton of free agent money. I Again, I mentioned the Mariners are on there. And, and that's a very good point, I Harold. can tell he's bored. Mariners. When JP, <laughs> when, when Matt starts doing that at the end of an insider segment, he wants us to yeah. move on. That's, that's, that's that means, that that means it's Oscar. about time. I'm getting that hard rap in my <laughs> ear from Maddie. Finally get so five Maddie, questions, and you yes, gotta spoil five it. Five questions. Mariners, it's not all about you. Padres, keep, keep an eye out there, Maddie Vasquez. Oh gosh, you can't uh, let me have my moment. For Eloy. Thank you. Gee whiz, isn't that shame, Lauren? It's like I'm the music at the Oscars. So he had to step in. He's like White Sox stage left. I didn't say a word. What are you hearing, Maddie? What are you hearing, Maddie? What do you got? Uh, I, I think the White Sox do move Eloy Jimenez. I think it's time to freshen that up. JP, I, are you going to stay in that seat all weekend long until we hear about Shohei? Is that Can, can I tell you what I've got to do right now, and this is true? If Shohei signs in the next three minutes, I'm not going to break the story because Alexis told me i got to take out the trash. So that's going to happen news. right now. You are, are you kidding me? If <laughs> Shohei Dr. signs Morosky. someplace, JP's entire family is on hold. He doesn't even see him in the room. <laughs> He is locked onto this uh, Otani signing story.